Well, good afternoon, everybody. Um, welcome to the BASF Innovation Overview. Um, I appreciate everybody taking the time today to join us for a brief uh, overview of some of the new products that are available uh, to you now in the state of New York. Uh, Nassau stuff at Calmany, just uh, if anybody's on there from that region. Uh, we know that you guys are very busy uh, this time of year, getting the course to bed, you know, wrapping up a pretty hectic season in uh, many ways than one. So we really do appreciate the time um, of you guys uh, joining us. I uh, hope you learned something new today. Um, you know, we're going to be covering uh, Max Tema fungicide, uh, our new DMI, and Navicon Intrinsic uh, fungicide, uh, which is our combo product. Today we have Kyle Miller, um, our senior technical specialist, uh, going to be presenting to you today. And then also joining us is Paul Romina, who is BSF Territory Manager for Westchester County, Long Island, and uh, Fairfield County, New York, uh, Connecticut, along with North Jersey. Uh, and then you have myself, uh, Pete Jacobson, and I cover New England and the upstate New York area. We'll just uh, carry along. And uh, Kyle, do you want to take it away? Sure, Pete. Thanks a lot. Uh, this has been a long time coming. I guess we got registration early last summer. Uh, and uh, so it's been about 500 days since our federal registration. Uh, we've had a lot of folks already using Max Tima and Navicon in the rest of the country, but last week was a great week for us to get uh, registration in the state of New York. And um, so anyway, let's talk a little bit about Max Tima and Navicon. Many of you all probably uh, are familiar with the two products by now somewhat. Max Tima is the solo product. Navicon is Max Tima plus Insignia. Uh, Max Tima is the new Azol or Sterol inhibitor or SI, whatever you want to call it, DMI, but it's a group three. But I think what's so neat about Max Tima is with regard to summer safety, we have seen just awesome summer safety with this particular product. We've seen no discoloration, no injury with or without PGRs, middle of the summer, 95 degrees, and it's just like applying any other BASF fungicide out there. Uh, very safe to the turf, which basically means to you, you can use it any time of the year. The other thing is it is really good on dollar spot both preventative and curative, uh, and it's got up to 28 days of uh, co residual control. Uh, the other thing too is for those of you all that battle DMI insensitive dollar spot, we have seen excellent results on DMI insensitive dollar spot. And we'll talk about that in a little bit more depth here in a second. Other than dollar spot, Anthracnose control is excellent, so it's going to give you another tool in the toolbox for anthracnose control. A number of patch diseases, take-all patch, brown ring patch, summer patch, and then also fairy ring. Very good on fairy ring. You see the rates here? Uh, very low for a DMI, 0.2 to 0.8 ounces, ounces per thousand square feet for Maxtima and 0.7 to 0.85 ounces per thousand for Navicon. So Navicon, because it's got insignia in it, much broader spectrum and offers up the plant health uh, uh, benefits that we see with uh, the intrinsic products. Navicon, just so that you, you know rates and, and what's in Navicon, at the full Navicon rate, we have a 0.4 ounce rate of Max Tima, which is the full dollar spot rate. It goes from 0.2 to 0.4. And then it's also got a full rate of insignia. Okay, so very broad spectrum control with Navicon and uh, just an excellent product. Now, this is a slide that I hijacked from Dr. Rick Latin. Uh, emeritus professor at Purdue. And basically what this shows is he's ranking dollar spot products. And as you all know, SDHIs are some of the top performing dollar spot products and you see them listed. But when it comes to the DMIs, 
Dr. Latin already has Max Tima at the top of the heap for dollar spot control in that category. If I had to say Max Tima on dollar spot performs very similar to Emerald, which you all know is a very strong dollar spot product. Last year at the Purdue Field Day, heavy pressure, as you can see in these pictures here, fairway dollar spot control, 21 day spray interval. On the left, you see Max Tima. On the right, you see an untreated. This was after the second application was made and it was 23 days after that application. So things were just starting to break uh, with regard to dollar spot control. There were a number of other DMI products in that trial. Here happens to be Banner Max, but the bottom line was Max Tema held true to those previous rankings that I just showed you in that uh, other slide there. So very good dollar spot control with Max Tema. Like I said, up to 28 days of control. Paul Romina, uh, who's uh, with us today and is gonna chat a little bit about Max Tema and Navicon, was up at Rutgers uh, this summer and took these two photographs. You can see there, a lot of pressure. Max Tema holding up very nicely on for dollar spot control as did Navicon over on in the uh, right-hand picture. So at Rutgers this summer, we were seeing excellent control, just like we have in, in the uh, rest of the country. Now, I mentioned DMI and sensitivity and issues that some superintendents have with not being able to control those insensitive strains. But one of the neat things about Maxtema is the head of that molecule rotates, is very flexible. And one of the reasons that we feel like we're very good on these insensitive strains are because Maxtema will latch on to that dollar spot fungus and won't let go. And because of that, we see elevated efficacy with the product on some of these insensitive strains. So that's one of the reasons we see such good control in those situations. We've had a number of superintendents that have used Max Tema that used it this past year on insensitive strains. This happens to be one in the Quad Cities area in Illinois that saw very good control from Max Tema after having used other DMIs for numerous years and only getting about a week of control. Uh, Alex was able to actually get almost four weeks in this particular instance. However, what I would say to you is, those of you that deal with these insensitive strains, tight interval, full rates for dollar spot control. Let's give the fungicide the best chance for it to work like it needs to work. But like I said, everything that we've seen so far, excellent disease control even in these situations. Other diseases that I mentioned, anthracnose, very good. And the nice thing about anthracnose control is we're battling anthracnose during the summer. We can use Maxtema during the summer. So we don't have the issue where we need to stay away from a DMI during those summer months. So it fits in very nicely that time of the year. These patch diseases I mentioned, summer patch, take all patch, brown ring patch, fairy ring, and uh, as we've been talking about dollar spot. Dr. Clark at Rutgers has done a tremendous amount of work with Maxtema and Navicon. In fact, since 2015, he's been looking at it on anthracnose and seeing just excellent results. And this is one of the uh, anthracnose products that routinely at the field day, he will point out because of the level of control uh, that he sees with this particular product. So very positive from that standpoint. I talked a little bit about rates. Hema is most 
active on dollar spot, thus the low rates that you see here, 0.2 to 0.4 ounces per thousand. Also very active on anthracnose. Those rates are 0.4 to 0.6. And then some of the other diseases that we control, slightly higher rates as you see them listed uh, on this slide here. With regard to turf safety and especially those summer applications, this was a trial that Pete Jacobson did uh, last year, middle of the summer at TPC River Highlands up in Connecticut. And I think it's probably pretty obvious to you some of the plots there, and I believe these were five by 20 foot plots that show that grain, that discoloration that we normally see with DMIs during the summer months. But as we label these for you, you will notice that the Max Tima and the Navicon plots, absolutely no impact, no detrimental impact on the turf compared to some of the other DMI products that were tested on this green. Uh, most of these treatments have Primo Max uh, as an underlying treatment. And we wanted to basically demonstrate that we really do not see any impact whether we're using a PGR or not using a PGR. And we have tested a number of different PGRs with Max Tima. So I've been getting some questions on these two products since they were federally registered last year. Uh, we talked about DMI insensitive dollar spot, very good on those strains. And like I said, make sure you're, you're a tight interval and full dollar spot rates. Another question that I've gotten has been about watering in, as you know, a disease like fairy ring requires watering in. This product will move down to the crown root area, but will be redistributed up to the top of the plant. So even if you're watering it in, it's not like you're washing it off of the turf because it is gonna get redistributed. Now, some, some superintendents have asked, okay, well, I wanna control dollar spot and fairy ring. Well, obviously you need to water it in for fairy ring, but you're still gonna get good dollar spot control because the product's gonna be just redistributed. If you were strictly a foliar disease, I would say, you know, obviously you're not gonna water it in because we want maximum uptake by the foliage. What PGRs have we tested other than Primo? Cutlass, trim it, I mean, you name it, we have looked at just about every PGR under the sun, tank mixed or applied sequentially uh, with Max Tima. And we've seen absolutely nothing. Why the low rate of Max Tima in Navicon? This is a question that we get. Well, as you might expect, Insignia does a lot of work on a lot of the other diseases. We put in the full dollar spot rate from Max Tima in Navicon because that's where we needed the most help, even though Insignia alone on dollar spot's pretty good. So that's the reason for the low dollar spot, the, the low uh, Max Tima rate in uh, Navicon, the 0.4 rate. Will it control anything else curative other than dollar spot? Most of our work's been done on dollar spot just because it's, it's very easy to, to uh, evaluate curatively, but other diseases that are listed on the label Yes, it will stop it and that turf will recover. So we've got good curative activity there too. One question that uh, comes up is why isn't brown patch on the label? We get about 50% brown patch control with Max Tima. Uh, that's not enough for commercial activity, if you will. So in that case, you're gonna make sure that you put in a brown patch product if, if you do need it. So uh, with that, uh, that is what I wanted to touch on with regard to Max Tima and Navicon. I know that Pete and Paul are going to uh, talk about some other features and benefits uh, that are important for these two products. So uh, I'm going to pass it on to uh, Pete here. But I did the one thing I did want to mention though is here is how you need to think about Max Tima and Navicon, and that is we can apply it on the golf course 
any temperature, any turf, anywhere, any time of the year. So tremendous flexibility uh, with this product. You don't have to, to hold back during the summer months when you're, you're used to having done that with other DMI products. Not the case with Maxtima and with Navicon. So Pete, why don't you take it away? Thank you, Kyle. Uh, appreciate that information. Uh, we get, looks like we do have some good questions coming in, um, but we'll, we'll address those right here at the end. Uh, so to break down the products a little bit, kind of understand, you know, formulation of Maxtima, it is an SD formulation. Uh, it is a DMI, like Kyle had said, you know, fat code three. Uh, active ingredient, it is a new AI available for the turf market, uh, methan trifluconazole. Uh, we do have two packaging uh, sizes, uh, one of the small and then a two by uh, two by two and a half gallon. Uh, like Kyle said, the rates, low rates, 0.2 to 0.8 ounces per thousand, uh, really depending on what your target disease is, you have a little bit of variation of what you can use this product for. Uh, label diseases, you know, dollar spot, infractnose, summer patch, take all patch, fairy ring, you got some the spring leaf spots. Uh, one thing I wanted to note here, the dollar spot rate, you know, 0.2 to 0.4. You know, that 0.4 rate is a 21 to 28 day window rate. We've had phenomenal success with it the last uh, year and a half with it, you know, out there in the field and other regions of the country. Um, but you're getting this rate control at $105 an acre. Um, so just a great tool to have, you know, in your arsenal uh, to be able to put in your budget and your spray program uh, for that dollar spot control on fairways or tees. Next slide, Kyle, please. Navicon Intrinsic, uh, another SD formulation, uh, which most of our products are. This is the combo product, like Kyle mentioned. Uh, it's a frac code three plus 11 uh, with pyraclostrobin com combination with methan trifluconazole. Similar packaging, we have a small case, four by 37, and then a two by two and a half gallon case. Uh, the rate windows are a little tighter with the 0 0.7, 0 0.85. Uh, broad spectrum disease control. You know, you're going to get 27 diseases on this label uh, covered with Insignia and Maxtima. Uh, in addition, you're going to get that intrinsic plant health benefit from the pyraclostrobin in this combination product. You know, phenomenal success during that summer using that holiday spray program. Um, and then I know Kyle mentioned earlier, and it's just a common question that we get all the time, you know, with the combo products, what rates am I getting when I'm making this application? At the high rate of Navicon Intrinsic, you're getting the 0.85 ounces per thousand at that rate is Insignia at the high rate of 0.7 and Maxtima at the 0.4 rate. I know we had one question that did pop up in the, in the chat a few minutes ago. Uh, thank you, Thad, for that. Um, but what does this mean with EOP? You still have time. Uh, early order still goes till December 4th. Um, so you still have some opportunity here to utilize this, you know, utilize these products in your program for next year. Um, with our early order program, you know, starting in October, uh, as you know, a New York superintendent, you only needed two fungicides to qualify for the below rebate chart. Um, so what does this mean if you did an EOP already in October? If you qualified for those two products in October, any purchases now until the end of early order, you will still get October rebates. Um, so as long as you qualified then, um, and just reach out to your local distributor rep, uh, you know, to work through, or you can reach out to myself or Paul if you have any further questions on that. Next slide, Kyle. Okay, everybody. Thank you, Pete. Thank you, Kyle, for uh, bringing up, um, and, and we're discussing Max Team and Navicon. What a exciting time to have these in New York. We were really waiting and we finally got them. So positioning for these products in a um, fungicide spray program, as you see here in front of you, these are, um, we, we've developed different uh, regional spray programs. And this is for New England covering Connecticut, New Hampshire, New York, Mass. And you can see the states that we cover. So obviously more North in New York, it will be different than say the Westchester area but it kind of gives you a guideline of, of where we're looking to place our products. And if you look through here with Maxtima, like uh, Kyle and Pete were talking, they're very flexible. Uh, Maxtima, you can come out, start early um, with Dollar Spot and Pink Snow Mold, and then you can start rotating the Navicon in. Now, these are both between greens and fairway programs. So for greens, um, again, with the flexibility of Maxtima, spring and summer, 
Um, you can even get into the fall time period for dollar spot cleanup. Um, the diseases we talked about was with the anthracnose, patch diseases, fairy ring, leaf spot, plus Waitia. That's another one that we, uh, I get a lot of questions about with Waitia patch. And then um, on the fairways, you know, spring and summer as well, and into the fall for, uh, for targeting uh, those diseases. Now with Navicon, you know, the best bet we talk about is on greens is rotating with our holiday spray program that has with uh, Lexicon. So we have those four Lexicon sprays, but now we're able to add uh, Navicon in there. If you're going June, July with Lexicon, we can throw in a Navicon in um, August time frame to get the DMI working for you. You know, let's try to get off the SDHI train. So we'd like to get that uh, DMI in there for you. So really flexible, really easy to use, and just works so well in these foundational programs. Uh, on fairways and tees with Navicon, you know, in July, you got that summer battle. Uh, great time to put it in, in that July, August time frame, holiday time frame, you know, and, and a tournament spray. So if you're having some big event coming up, it's a great time to apply Navicon for, for full coverage of 27 plus diseases here. And um, you're going to set yourself up really, really strong for, um, for your season. So again, Pete and I are always here. We can go through these programs with you uh, for any questions that you do have. Uh, we wanted to obviously say thank you so much for, for being a, a part of this today. We know that you're busy. Uh, we know uh, you guys are all taking care of stuff out on the course, trying to button things up. So we appreciate it. We 